Today is August 5th, 2022. It has been exactly 20 years since the USS Monitor's turret was successfully recovered. However, the recovery process was not a simple one, and the destruction of the ship was far faster since it took mere seconds for the vessel to fall to the seabed, whilst it took several years for the turret to come back to the surface. The story for today begins in 1973 when a wreckage is discovered 16 miles off Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, and the next year this wreck would be 100% identified as the USS Monitor, which has flipped upside down and its turret was dislodged, now located at the stern of the ship. The site comes under the ownership of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA for short, and they make it the United States' first National Marine Sanctuary. This sanctuary is quite a special one, however, so special in fact that plans for recovering this wreckage quickly begin to pop up, and over several decades, they would begin to develop into an actual effort. No matter how you look at this operation, it was going to be a complicated one. The main goal was to recover the turret, which is considered the most valuable and iconic component of the ship, but there is a major problem. I did mention that the turret became dislodged during sinking. What I didn't mention is that the hull of the ship still managed to land on top of the turret in the worst possible location, underneath the engine. To cut a long and complicated story short, Noah ends up partnering with the Mariner's Museum and Park, located in Newport News, Virginia, and the United States Navy to implement a six-phase recovery plan on Monitor's wreck. The phases are... Phase 1, pre-shoring archaeology. Phase 2, shoring beneath the hull. Phase 3, removal of the propeller skeg, propeller itself, aft lower hull, and the main propulsion engine. Phase 4, removal of the armor belt and hull above the turret. Phase 5, removal of the turret. And Phase 6, post-removal survey and stabilization of the wreckage. For today, we are going to mainly focus on phases 4 and 5, which is the removal of the hull above the turret and the ultimate recovery of the turret that resulted. Phase 4 was extraordinarily controversial then, and it remains one of the hated components of the recovery of Monitor's turret, as it involved cutting up the wreckage so that the turret could be easily accessed. Most of the heat for this topic seems to come from the fact that the armor belt, rather than being recovered, was simply thrown to the side, and of course the fact that the ship had to be cut in the process of removing the armor belt above the turret. However, the main goal needs to be kept in mind, being the turret, and you do not want to damage the turret while you're trying to recover it. What needs to be kept in mind during this conversation is the way Monitor's turret was constructed. It is primarily eight layers consisted of 192 plates bolted and riveted together, which have since then been flipped upside down, slammed onto the seabed, and then had a 1,000 ton hunk of iron slam on top of it. The 1,000 ton hunk of iron resting on top of it is not the main goal and was never considered for recovery, thus it would ultimately spend its life to deteriorate on the seabed anyway, so regardless of whether it was cut or not, the fate for the monitor's hull would be the same, whilst the turret would at least have a chance at the future if the hull was cut. Once components of the hull were cut, some items were recovered whilst the majority was thrown off to the side. This allowed perfect access to monitor's turret with a device dubbed the spider since it has eight legs. The spider would be placed over Monitor's turret, and the legs would be manually closed by divers. This was not a simple task, since Monitor's wreckage resides in a rather heavy current zone, but they proved very skilled at what they were doing and managed to close all legs successfully. However, there is a slight problem with the design. The legs only support the turret sides, not the roof. Good thing is, Noah was forward-thinking and had a platform built for the spider to lift the turret onto before recovery, so that if the roof of the turret failed and collapsed, the contents would not spill out. 